What's going on, YouTube? Back at it again. The ninth night of Halloween. That's right, the ninth night of delicious horror scary movies for Halloween that I've been burning through up until Halloween. So tonight was the first time in a while I've seen a movie that I have not seen ever, period. And that would be Hellraiser. It was suggested to me, like, hey, you're doing a, a cool little 13 nights kind of thing with monsters and whatnot. You should check out Hellraiser. Cool. Yeah. Thank you, Hulu. That's where it was. Hulu had it, so I watched it. I'm going to say, and bear with me on this, it's kind of a slow burn movie, especially watching it today, because we're so used to quick action, quick reveals, and then it's a lot of mindless things happening, to where this one, it was a very slow burn, a build up to the whole big grandioso finale, and the effects of it were old and dated, absolutely, but at the same time, were still pretty good. And I really appreciated and enjoyed watching a lot of these effects, especially like when the, the hooks come out of the box and like they grab into people. I mean, of course, you can tell it, it was super cheesy the way they did it, but then there would be certain shots where it, it just looked good. You're like, huh, this dude's getting his face kind of like pulled apart. And at the same time, while there's cheese to it, it still looked believably real. And it had that gooey, liquidy feel to it. And, and I, I liked that. Like, I appreciated it and was in, in awe of that, especially when the the um the brother guy i forgot his name i'm drawing a blank because right now bear with me on this if you keep hearing a -doop 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 -doop, neighbors back that way i don't know if they're having a quinceanera or if there's some kind of other birthday or party or something going on all day with the boom, 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 which is fine but i kept putting off this be like okay well i need to maybe let it be a little quiet out there and then we can do this but it's it's getting too late in the day, so if you hear that, I do apologize, and every now and again, it kind of, it, it just, it's distracting, but it's fine, it's whatever. I make weird noises in the backyard, so fair is fair, right? <laughs> but Hellraiser, I really enjoyed how Pinhead looked. Dude that's got these nails just hammered, like, all over his body, his, has by his face. I liked his voice. I liked when he talked. It was, like, scary, but at the same time, calming. It was like a very unique kind of mixture of both, and I, I liked that. I appreciated that. For me, this was a pretty original concept of a movie. I mean, it, nothing really like it that I've seen ever with this whole box, and then these things come through, these Cenobites, and they're going to show you the pleasures of pain, etc. And I said that too, everyone had a unique look to them. You know, very gothic-y look with the whole pale thing and the, the leathery black and, you know, the spikes. But they all had their unique kind of personalities and style and look. And I liked that. I, I dug that. I know where they got the nemesis from Resident Evil 3 because one of them was like, like that's what he was doing. And he's straight up like, that's just like kind of like the thinner version of it. But yeah, slow burn of a movie. It, it took a long time. Like it, the movie started off and it, it presented the whole idea of what this movie's going to be, right? Like, okay, cool. Then it just kind of like it just slowed way down. A little, little peak up and then it slowed even slower. Until it got to the end. Like the last act of the movie is where it really just stuff's happening and things are going. And, and at that point, I'm like, okay, cool. Like, you know, we've got a movie. Then I have to realize that this came out 82, 1982. I didn't look this one up either. Man, I'm, that's two now. That's two for two that I did not look up the date. I want to say... No, 80, 82 is Poltergeist. Came out in the 80s, or the, the late 70s. God, that's going to drive me crazy now. Because I'm doing this all in one take, so I can't just be like, hey, we're going to pause and edit. Because things are still nuts and crazy with my life. Yay, life. Anyway, it's super dated. It's, it's definitely like, you know, over 30 years old of a movie. I would say some of it still holds up pretty good. A lot of it definitely has that creep factor. A lot of the, the work to it, you can tell, is paying off. The acting is so-so. I mean, today, it's just, it's just an old movie, so when you're watching it today, you're like, okay, yeah, the, the acting is what it is, but I'm sure back then that acting was, like, superb and just amazing. Pinhead was great. It's just a shame he's not in it as much as I would like him to have been. But when he is on there, his presence is very demanding, and you need to pay attention to that, and I appreciate that. If you've seen Hellraiser and you liked it or didn't like it, go ahead and shoot that down below. We can have ourselves a fun little conversation with that. It'd be a lot of fun. 
going ahead and like this video and favorite it and share it. I would really, really appreciate it. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I'm trying to hit that 500 mark, then 1,000 mark, so on and etc. I really would appreciate it. Backtrack a little bit because I forgot. I would honestly, seriously give Pinhead a 10 out of 10. Well, yes, it is a slow burn of a movie. It, it had to lay all these key things out for the big reveal at the end. And I really enjoyed some of the, the prosthetics and the effects of the movie, the special effects. I just, I dug it. I really dug it. I, I just appreciate what they were doing. I probably will see the other ones and I might get more disappointed as they go on because that's usually how these trend things go. The first couple are really good and then after that it's kind of... But I would give this a 10 out of 10. Absolutely. 10 out of 10. It, it's just, it's so good. It's it's so original. It's It's definitely one of those like, yeah, like that's a classic horror movie and good job. 10 out of 10. Like, favorite, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Leave those comments down below. I'd really appreciate it. And remember, guys, you heard it here at The Source.